It's your boy Chuck Thunder, and we're back. We are back because we finally got what we needed. We got the battle levels uh, that we needed to go get shipbuilding. We came back to Tunis, so we're here in Tunis. Um, we got our shipbuilding skill. I'll show you that. Shipbuilding level 1. Got my repair level 3. Got my battle level up. I went and did um, some school quests and got my intermediate exam done. Still have to do the advanced maritime exam, but right now that's not important. So I got the level 10 battle levels. So now that I have that, I've gone and come to my shipyard master here in Tunis to show you guys the very basics of shipbuilding. So I go to the shipyard master and go to custom shipbuilding. This is as far as I know how it works. Now I still need to get a job that is got shipbuilding preferred uh, as favored, but for right now, I'm going to show you how the basics work. I'm going to go to build ship. Make sure you have a space of a ship available in your inventory because if you don't, you won't be able to build the ship. You'll only be able to modify the ships you currently have. And so, obviously, we can start with making barkas and we can go up as high as the Turkish galley, which I could make. It just takes 4.4 million uh, to make and it takes 11 building days which I won't be able to use that ship but I will be able to use the large transport galley hmm. so Turkish galleys are probably going to give you the most um, experience by doing so because they cost the most but you can see it has the largest investment so I want to build a ship that I could use um, and that's going to be the transport galley because I'd like to I've never really sailed a galley before um, and I'm not going to have the adventure levels of the battle levels use the Turkish galley anytime soon. And the uh, heavy galley, same thing. I'm not going to be able to use that for a while either. So, we're going to go with the large transport galley. Because I think that would make the most sense to go with. So, um, ship parts. So you can see what it's going to have. It's going to have three sail slots, three armor slots, three, three cannon slots, figurehead, a crest, two stern, uh, or special equipments, a bow turret and a stern turret so those are your options so we're just going to go ahead and click that now now I happen to have noble metal in my inventory and that would make the ship even more durable um, it would lower its vertical sails and horizontal sails but it would give it really high durability so this is something that um, I, I had noble metal given to me from somebody I don't know why but now I know I pulled it in my inventory because I want to see what it would do um, and it clearly looks like it would give a um, purple color to the ship or pink color to the ship um, and add 0 to 20 extra plus 20 durability seems to be what it's going to oops back up. seems to be what it would suggest to do um, so you, as long as you have the metal or the, uh, the kind of stuff you want in your inventory it would pull this up and be able to make the ship the way you want it to and then my other options are to make beach or cedar ships. These are come natural to the uh, choice options that you get. Beach being more durability and 178 and 70 sail. Um, I'd rather just go with a slightly faster ship. I don't really care so much about the durability of the ship. It's not that important to me. So we're going to go with cedar. And then we could change the capacity of the ship again changing the capacity is most important to me so let's make the ship's capacity as large as possible so we get more hold that adds a little bit more cost to it um, increasing the guys ability to carry more cargo at turning speed will decrease so that also changed so I can drop this to 629 and you'll see that it'll change these numbers back here I have 8 minus 30 minus 30 minus 6 minus 6 minus 7 minus 20 minus 20 minus 4 minus 4 so less uh, damage done to these things by increasing the capacity um, turning speed did go did, did change just from minus six minus eight and there's some from eight to seven so uh, that's not a big deal to me again this is a transport ship for me more than anything the 558 cargo hold is more important to me so perform capacity change to exceed your skill rank ships performance will be affected sure I don't know if that these are the performance ratings that are being affected. The higher my ship building would be, the less this would be affected. But so since this is our first ship, we get to name it here. What are we gonna name this ship? Hmm. Uh, I could call it first ship. I could call it um, 
the um, usually this is a galley so we'll call this the uh, thunder galley complete all right we order the construction of the thunder galley so the way I imagine that this works is that now I just go to C. Um, this, that ship, and I'm going to click custom ship building, it says that ship will take 16 more days. Maybe you should go sail around until it's ready. I'm like, it's like, oh, I'm the one who's doing the ship building. <laughs> These guys are the ones clearly doing the ship building, but I'm paying people clearly to do it. Yeah, they are working back there. Building me a ship. So it seems like. Trevor, so we got 16 days to kill. So it means 16 minutes out at ocean. So we're going to use this opportunity now to go sail back to um, Seville and get some things. Let's get our butts in a boat. Let's go sail to Seville. My ship parts already here. Yes, they are. Sail to Seville. Because we gotta go get some stuff out of our inventory. We're gonna do some casting. Um, and then, like I said, I wanna get a job. Right now my job is a student is my title. Can I change that? Sure, it doesn't change anything. Student so I can wear this stuff. Um, what is my current job? Uh, why can't I see my current job? Uh, junior officer, duh. So yeah, right now I'm a junior officer. I did that because I had a Maritime Guild uh, card uh, that I changed the job to so I can get more experience to get. Um, and I should probably switch to the shipwright. Someone said I should do the shipwright qu uh, quest because the shipwright quest doesn't require nearly as much as the other one did that I was trying to get into. Um, let's see. could choose the shipwright. That's what it's the shipwright versus the arms dealer. The arms dealer quest I said required casting four and trade level battle level of twenty eight sixteen. So yeah, not quite there. So I don't know that I'd be able to reach it. Let's look at the shipwright job. 1899. I don't think I can do that one quite yet. I'll be almost there probably this week. 1899, I could do that. It's in Lisbon and it requires a quest of latest tactics. I'll look into that. Maybe we'll do an episode on getting one of these quests, one of these uh, jobs, because I'm not sure what the best would be. But figure that out in a little bit. I should probably use these. What's the name of the, the, name of the quest was? Let me go look up the quest. It's called Latest Tactics Quest. So let's look that up. Latest tactics quest UWL. Hmm. Yeah, tactics level seven. See, that's the thing. They say, oh, it doesn't take that much. Well, just tactics. Well, I don't level tactics. It's just not what I care about, but so yeah, that, that's an option if you have a high enough level tactics. 
so. Yeah, it's gonna be a while before we're ready. If I do you to if I do the shipbuilding. Still trying to learn here. I'm reading this in front of me. So that required casting level four. is called Da Vinci's Research is the name of the quest. Da Vinci's Research UWO. And this quest is a firearms trading permit. I need French level one and casting level five is no problem. doesn't say anything about make five cannons, five fire bombs. So that's an easy quest. I just it makes it look like I'd be able to do it with this cartoon. Even without the battle levels that I was just asking for. So, yeah, well, that's what we'll do. We'll get the do the Da Vinci's research quest after we're done building this first ship to show you guys how that works. But, yeah, it's just this casting level 5 with French level 1, which I'll just learn that if I have to, because I don't think I know it. Is that body language? Yeah, I'll just learn French. Um, really? I learned French in Venice, not in France. Okay, well, that's pretty stupid, but that's something I'm going to have to do, probably. I don't know that I need to learn French. might be able to do it without it, but for the sake of not having any issues, I'm going to go learn it, and I have the skill space for it. This tune has lots of skill space. So we're going to go get French, then we're going to go do that. So that'll be a whole other episode doing the Da Vinci's Research Quest line. Um, to show you guys how to get the fire and trading permit. Now, people also said I should do rescue people um, and do rescuing of um, NPCs at sea and then using my endorsement cards, which that may work. I'm not sure how how we'll be able to get that. Let's see. NPC endorsements. UWO. What's the job endorsements from an NPC NPC at sea using a letter of appreciation of seafarers rescuing your NPC? So once you get one, let's open up the European one. Promotion endorsement. Hmm. 
privateer permits, trading permits, punitive permits, adventurers, guild cards, trading permits, merchants, guild cards, cartography permits, interpretation permits, trading permits. I, I don't know what any of that means. There's so many options. So what, let's just see, what is a promotion endorsement? Time job team change into naval officer. Okay. What is a trade permit? <coughs> Excuse me. job change title it's a trade merchant okay so they could turn you into these different things but so like what would naval officer be yeah nothing about shipbuilding I didn't think so So which one of these gives you anything with shipbuilding? Promotion endorsements. I did that. Trading permits. Maritime guild cards I know about. Bishops endorsement. Excavation permits. It's a bishop's endorsement. Bishop's endorsement. Okay, that told me nothing. Excavation permit. We're going to look that up next. Excavation permit. All right. And then we're going to get into town here. We're going to go to the bank. And we're going to pull our stuff out of the bank. Excavation permits. Qualified historian is a treasure hunter or historian. Okay, so it's like an adventure job. Surveying, procuring, marching, appraisal, archaeology, art, sure. And the other one is historian. <coughs> yeah, same idea. So it's an adventure one. Pull stuff from the farm. I didn't pay attention to about how long it took me to get here, but we'll know roughly how long that's going to be by sailing back but I have something I want to get from my other tune which is right here Charles exchange accept exchange give him this switch back over offer confirm confirm and then we go ahead and smelt the metal. Cool. Easy enough. And then we go ahead. 
ahead and turn that into two-handed swords and sell to the merchant guild. Sell. Boom, done. All right. Back to Tunis. And that's the other thing, too, is that you, you got to return to Tunis for your ship. You can't, as far as I understand, you can't just go back uh, on your own terms to someplace else and pick it up anywhere else. It's being built in Tunis. So. We'll pay attention to how many days at sea now when you're doing this. So. So, yeah, I, even my NPC endorsement cards, they get you jobs, but they, they don't get you a shipbuilding job. So, um, a job that needs shipbuilding, from what I understand, an arms dealer is one of them, so that's what I'm going to do with this tune, is I'm going to see if I can start the arms dealer quest line. So, I will check in with you on the following episode when I finally get French and have confirmed that I can pick up that quest. Um... I don't know that I need the battle levels that it says I need, but one way or another, I am going to try um, getting French and then going to Marseille and trying to pick up the quest there. Because if I can pick up the quest there, then I can confirmably get that complete and get a shipbuilding favor job and start leveling through shipbuilding a little bit faster, um, especially with the uh, boost uh, that it has going on right now and during the next couple of days. Today is the um, October 17th, and that's another 10 days, I believe, of 100% boost. And I am getting an extra 30% boost um, because I used a 30% boost of experience gain for 7 days. So I will use as much of that as I can in the next coming days to try to capture as much experience as possible um, for my skills um, proficiency. Yes, yeah, so he gained a bonus of 130%. So. That's what I'm going to do. I'm getting like weird visual tearing. This looks great. And then I'm going to move with my mouse. Getting visual tears. Eh. Computer probably needs a cleanup. And some things need to be deleted. This is not a visually demanding game. I should not be doing this. Anywho, go check on the other tune. He's not doing anything right now. We might just log him out. See if that boosts our frame rate. Oh god, the frame rate is so bad. So demanding. It's still struggling. Whenever I move the mouse, it still seems to be doing this. I might have to look into the computer here and figure out what's going on. So we are at three days right now. And if you don't know how many days you have left, you'll obviously you can go check into the shipwright, uh, shipmaster, and, and style tell you, and he'll go, oh, you still need six more days at sea. Well, then in that case, just go back out at sea for six more days. Um, I don't think this episode is going to be... I have to stretch this episode out to be 16 episodes, 60 minutes long just to get the, the full um, build in, but that's generally how it works. You know, you have to be at sea for the X amount of days that it says to be. Let's just see here. Settings. 
change in-game graphics display settings. Detail models. Still acting up. So we're going to go back to the visual of the space. Fudge. It's doing this. It could be because I have like Google Chrome open in the background too, even. Let's do that, close all that. Still very crummy. This is not a very, very <laughs> visually demanding game yet. It's following ripple effects that I don't like. on the computer might need a cleaning. That could be it. Ay, ay, ay. It's a shame. I don't remember this happening when I was playing the game in the past. It's only just started. Maybe somebody knows more about the game and why it does such something like this can tell me what custom settings I need to change it to. I can't explain it. Alright, so this trip took about eight minutes, it looks like. That's right, I'm pretty sure these in-game sailing days count as minutes. And so it was taking us eight to nine minutes to sail back and forth between Seville and Tunis. And we're looking at likely 16 full minutes to sh craft the ship. Um, so we might be looking at a good we might be looking at our 16 minutes which is perfect we will see here now after this I don't think I'm going to build Turkish galleys anymore I think I might build some other ships out of Venice or Seville but
Okay. Adventure to level 18. Nice. That was easy. Sailing does that. Alright. Now we're going to go to the harbor. We're going to walk to the shipyard. And we're going to check to see if we did that enough time. Pretty sure we did. And then, of course, your ship will be done, and then you'll have ship built. And then we'll take a look at our ship building skill, which should be level 1. 18% proficiency, sure. Is that the number of days that we were out at sea for? I have no idea if that's how it works. So we have 18 out of 200 uh, proficiency. Transport large galley thunder sh galley ship is complete. Does that mean it's in my ship inventory? There it is, the thunder galley. And we could sail it. Lots of cannon space. So it's a good battleship for us right now. Lots of sailors are required, but it holds a lot. So let's go ahead and put our ship parts on it, and let's use it. Change ship, Thunder Galley, ship parts, first change to it, ship parts, two, three, put a ram on there, put our cannons on there, which we now have, have plenty of cannons. I'm just gonna buy some random cannons. So we put 10 on a ship of 42. So how are we gonna make 42 work? Do we have rapid fires? Probably not. Um, just pick any old cannons. They come in stacks of bigger than six. Oh, tens of the most. There you go. That's 36, plus 10 is 46, so that's not going to work. Oh, we can't fit them all. I'm stupid. I really don't want to sell my rapid fires. I don't need to fill up every you know ship slot, so whatever, that's fine. It's cannons, cannons in their slots. So there we are. We are sh now stocked in our ship. I don't put any of this stuff on, and we can build another ship. Yeah, but now, as you can see here, now I have a full ship thing, so I won't be able to build any more ships. So you could edit ships, change ships. Um, my Thunder Galley doesn't have any original um, stuff on it, so let's change ships real quick. Back to the graduation palaka, so I can edit the ship. So if I wanted to add original shipbuilding skills to it, like the so like right now it doesn't have any. Like this is an original skill. Thunder Galley doesn't have any. So if I want to put one on, I can add an original skill, an optional, there's original, and then I can make more ship improvements, which not enough investments in the town to do so. I would need a workshop and a warehouse if I wanted to add that to that ship. So there's requirements, as you can see. If I want to continue to make up this ship to be able to have more things like adding optional skills I would need to have first off in order to use the skills you gotta have these other skills here required skills to use the additional ship skills um, so that's first and foremost and having navigation and management is part of what makes these ships work so arms Management, navigation, yeah, they all require something. Navigation, management, 
you know, I would probably have had rowing assistant. He's a different extreme as when rowing, you know, or add the galley to it so that it can cook at sea or uh, protect your treasures from enemy plunder. Or if you're in an area that you want to do ship improvements, that you can do ship improvements to it. So, so there you go. We have built our first ship. Let's check to see how much uh, shipbuilding skill we received for that. Oh, 18. As you can see, that's all I got for that. So, I don't know if that has anything to do with the kind of ship I chose, or how many days at sea it, it is that it took, but you can see it's a bit of a grind, and it takes some time to level up your, your shipbuilding skill. But there we have it. We have begun shipbuilding. Um, and there's not much else left to it other than to keep on building ships. Oops. So, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It wasn't very eventful, but it is how you do the basics of shipbuilding. Um, I am going to change my ship, too, because I forgot to change back. Um, oops. Change ship. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, I hope you also enjoyed my new ship and my new sailors that I have going on in here. Let's get the ship completely stocked up with people. Used to ship with this many people on it before, so I need to make sure I have enough food to get us to where we're going. Yeah, that stinks. You gotta fill the ship in order to get like 10 days or more. You gotta fill the ship almost like 90% full of trade goods filled. Ugh, that's how it works. All right, and we're off to Venice to learn French and start the next uh, episode at some point. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode for what it was. Um, and you like my new ship and the way it looks. Hopefully, uh, we learned something this episode and then it encourages you to start making your own ships as we have built our first Turkish galley. Uh, or our galley. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by. It's been great. Struck Thunder. If you learned from this episode and you liked it, please leave a like, uh, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, whatever you gotta do to show the love. I do appreciate it. Not that I'm making money at this, because I definitely am not. I'm doing it for the love of the game and helping other people understand the basics. It's been great, and have fun. Take care.